The first warning would come from satellites, and they could detect the flame from the booster rocket within seconds, easily within a minute. Suddenly, this early warning hub in the United States would become very frenzied to try to figure out whether this is a false alarm or whether this is a real attack and determine this within 60 seconds. The president would receive a briefing from the duty officer at Strategic Command Headquarters. That briefing of the president of his response options and their consequences has to be delivered in as little as 30 seconds. The president normally would have no more than 12 minutes to make a decision and maybe as little as 10 seconds. I knew that if the Soviets did launch an attack, that it would take 26 minutes for an ICBM to leave Russian soil and land in Washington or New York. And I had that much time to decide how to respond. 